Okay, I'm in a new studio here with my friend, and uh, the first thing I asked him is, can you make me more handsome? I found the perfect sleeping bag for the Appalachian Trail. It's a delicious fusion between quilt and sleeping bag. Now, for you to appreciate why I've chosen this bag, I need to walk you through the evolution of my sleep systems over the last few years. I'm going to start out with my traditional sleeping bag. This is a Big Agnes traditional mummy bag. It's got a, a hood for keeping you nice and warm. It's got a zipper that goes three quarters and it's got a nice nice draft tube that keeps the keeps you keeps the drafts away when you have the zipper and it has a nice foot box. The foot box is wonderfully and warm but there are some problems with this. It's a little bit tight. It's not as comfortable as I would like. It also is a little bit warm for most of the hikes I do. It also is a little restrictive because the zipper is only three quarters length. It doesn't go all the way, allowing for venting when you need it on those hot days. So wonderfully warm when it's supposed to be warm, but it's actually too hot often. So that one is no longer with me. So my next attempt of a sleeping bag or a sleep system was the, uh, it's a Big Agnes Pluton. It's a very light bag. It's only a 40 degree bag, but it's actually much more comfortable in those hot days than the traditional mummy bag. And let me show you some of the features. This is a super light high loft down with a nice light nylon. It's got a really micro hood. Now, if you look at the top, you can see the micro hood. So it's only a hood just a little bit to keep you warm, only if it gets really cold on those summer days. It doesn't have any full baffles. The seams, it's actually a seamed, sewn through seams. So there aren't any full baffles. So there is actually cold spots potentially in this particular spot. And there is no draft tube. Again, something you don't necessarily need in the summer. One of the things I liked about this one was the zipper goes all the way, all the way down to almost the foot. So therefore you can actually flip it around and sleep like a quilt. So that is quite nice, but there is one shortcoming with this bag for that. It does have a hood. <laughs> yeah. So the hood itself, when I put it around over your shoulders, the one side has a flopping hood that gets in your face. So that is not the best way to sleep with a quilt. So this hood, uh, which is wonderful if you need it on those zipped up cold nights, but when you want those hot nights, when you want to make it like a quilt, the hood became a detriment. So this one has a lot of good features, but wasn't quite right. I'm moving away from sleeping bags as the years go on and I start to try some quilts. This is my favorite quilt. I've tried many from all sorts of different manufacturers. This is a Z-Pax quilt, their solo quilt. It's a 20 degree bag. Now, why I like this one is a whole host of reasons, but I, I want to talk more about the features of a quilt rather than this particular quilt. It's high loft, it's got full baffles. You flip around to the bottom side, and this is where you're going to be exposed to your sleeping pad. And you've got a nice foot box for your for your feet to keep you nice and warm. You got a tether in the bottom to attach for your sleeping pad. Ta-da! And at the top, you've got a clip to go over your shoulders and you can tighten it up at night to keep you warm. This particular bag has kept me warm and comfortable many nights on the Great Divide Trail and the first half of the Appalachian Trail, as well as the Rideau Trail and many other trails in Ontario. So I really like this quilt. But there is one concern, and that is the fixed foot box provided me some problems on those hot summer nights. It didn't give me a lot of venting, so I'd have to put my feet outside the bag, which worked out pretty good, but I didn't have the flexibility I wanted. All in all, wonderfully designed, wonderful, wonderful quilt. But I'm looking for the perfect bag for the Appalachian Trail. This could be the perfect bag for the Appalachian Trail, and I'll tell you why. The bag itself is a Ventum nylon uh, and it is quite comfortable. It is actually DWR water repellent uh, with 900 fill down, ethically sourced, uh, hydrophobic. 
and it is also a 30% overfill. Full baffles, full draft tubes all the way around following the zipper. But here's the difference between this one and my quilt. If I zip it around, <laughs> the zip comes all the way around, right to the top, right to the top. So when you unzip it, let's just try it. My sleeping bag turns into a quilt. Brilliant. So now I don't have to worry about being hot on those summer nights. I have lots of opportunity for venting. The zipper slides effortlessly. It is very smooth and partly because of the design and this stiffener that exists all the way around, right to the foot. If it does get cold, my options are to zip it up fully and sleep it like a traditional sleeping bag. It doesn't have a hood, which is a good thing because I want to be able to integrate it into a, or shall we switch it to a uh, quilt. So I have to bring myself a uh, uh, something warm for my head, a toque or um, uh, a buff or a, a hoodie, something like that to keep me warm on those cold nights. There is one other bonus. There was many times I was on the Appalachian Trail and I was at hostels and in the hostels you're sleeping on a bunk which has been shared by a zillion people before you. Shall we say the hygiene is questionable. <laughs> so I was uh, a little concerned sleeping with my quilt on top of those because my exposed body was on top of the mattress. But with this particular bag, it's like a traditional sleeping bag. So there is a, tra there is a traditional, or I should say a full bottom and a full top. So I can sleep like a regular sleeping bag, a little more protected on those hostels. The bag itself easily met its loft targets of two inches. It also came with this sweet DCF roll bag that when the sleeping bag was stuffed in it, it had proven weather protection. So all in all, why I want this, it's a better temperature rating for me. It's got the flexibility of the open bottom, the full zip, which allows me for a traditional sleeping bag in the hostels. All in all, I think it's gonna be a comfortable, warm, very useful sleep system on the Appalachian Trail.